Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. American tennis star Coco Gauff comes from a family of athletes. She finds joy on the tennis court and her voice off it. The 19-year-old tennis sensation is known for standing up for what she believes is right, be it on or off the court. There were several instances in which Gorf expressed her inner courage to the rest of the world, demanding justice at a Black Lives Matter rally and speaking out against anti-LGBTQ laws in her home state of Florida, are just some little examples. Even during a U.S. Open match last year, Coco Gauff confronted the referee for treating her unfairly. But who gave her the strength and courage to be so open? Well, she believes her grandmother inspired her to speak out about important issues on social media. In comma Coco Gauff's grandmother Yvonne Lee Odom was the first black student to attend Seacrest High School in Florida. She started school in 1961 at the age of 15. As Odom reflects on the difficult times, Gorf said, she's the sole, or one of the main, reasons why I use my platform the way that I do, and why I feel so comfortable speaking out. For those who don't know, she was the first black person to go to what was then called Seacrest High School. That happened, like, six months after Ruby Bridges did her integration. She had to deal with a lot of racial injustice. Adding to that she said, for her to go through what she did during that time, makes me think that putting out a tweet or saying a speech is so easy compared to that. That's why I have no problem doing the things that I do. She always reminds me that I'm a person first instead of an athlete. Even her parents had to endure a lot of suffering to get her to where she is today, and Gorf continues to talk about the struggles her family had to go through to be able to witness those glorious moments through their supergirl. Coco Gorf is an inspiration not only to all Americans, but also to the rest of the world. As the country celebrates Black History Month, Gorf also offered words of gratitude for the man who stood at the beginning of it all. A few weeks ago, Coco Gorf was seen celebrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s day by paying a heartfelt tribute to the American political activist and philosopher, one of the most prominent leaders of the civil rights movement. MLK Day, celebrated every year on the third Monday in January, was again represented this year with parades, processions and speeches by civil rights activists. And Coco Gorf was there for that. Martin Luther King Jr. fought a lifelong struggle to achieve equal rights for all blacks in the United States through nonviolent resistance. To recognize her contribution to the nation, Coco Gorf posted an Instagram story on MLK Day. She wrote, Thanks to them we can. Her fight against injustice has led millions like Coco Gorf to raise their voices against inequality. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next.